What's up guys, welcome to this short video. Today I want to create a tutorial about the central locking of objects. I've seen this video from Daniel Schiffer where he's trying to remake a Beats by Dr. Dre clip and he's doing it with Final Cut and it looks so amazing and I decided to um, create this effect uh, in Luma Fusion, it won't be that easy and not that perfect, but it works very fine with the way I'm going to show you. So at first you should check out Daniel Schiffer's video. It's up there in the info box and down in the description, of course. Go and check it out. Um, and before you can start in Luma Fusion, you have to download one PNG file uh, on my self -I store. It's for free, so just download it. Link is always uh, here in the um, info box and down in the description. And now we are jumping into LumaFusion. Welcome to LumaFusion. We've got a clip in our timeline. We want to track the object in it. Therefore, I have created this PNG file with this cross for easier tracking. Then double tap the clip and resize it and zoom in. We want to zoom in because uh, we have to move around the frame to get the object we want to track and center. Therefore, try it yourself how much you have to zoom in so there are no black bars if you're moving around the clip. Then create keyframes and always center the object. I would recommend a very good and easy to track point like the camera of this phone and center it always in the center of the cross and then add keyframes. At first, do it a bit easier, so just jump in like 10 frames and do it. And uh, afterwards, we have to make it more precise. So we are going through it and check if everything fits good. If it's fitting good, we are starting uh, filling up the gaps between the keyframes. But first have a look. It's always quite good, but as you can see, the camera moves sometimes out of the cross. So now we are starting from the beginning, moving from the first frame on and going step by step. So we are seeing where the camera is moving and we're filling the gaps with keyframes where we center the camera again. I'm going to speed this a little bit up for you. After we filled up every gap, we are scrolling through the timeline and to check if there are still some misbehavior, so any points where the camera moves out of the cross. And we are correcting them and center the camera again. It won't be 100% perfect until you make it frame by frame. As you can see, the phone is a bit shattering. So to correct this, we are scrolling through the timeline, searching for the point where the camera is not centered, double tapping the project and correcting the position. And if you do this, always when the camera is out of center, you get a nearly perfect result. This result isn't perfect because it's just a tutorial and I don't want to show you a one hour process process of centering a five second file. But if you want to do it perfect, do it frame by frame as precise as possible and you get a perfect result. So try this at home. Okay guys, as I said in the video more than often, if you do it frame by frame, so every frame and you are 
as precise as possible, you get a perfect result. And it will be better than in Final Cut. And the most important thing is to, to crop into the video file just as much as you need. So search for the extreme points where the object is as closest to the borders of your frame and then zoom in until there's no black bar anymore and you get the biggest frame possible and you get the best result. So, but now give thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to activate the bell to don't miss any video in the future. See you next time guys, bye.